à M. Bako Abianda, d'origine camerounaise, il est le PDG du groupe Atix. Alors, est-ce que vous pouvez vous présenter à tous ces Africains qui vous découvrent um, My name is Bako Abianda, as you said, I'm the chairman of ATIGS Group. ATIGS Group is a member company of Labaco Group of Companies. Labaco Group of Companies means the Baco Corporation. The Baco Corporation is a holding group uh, based out of Mauritius. We have seven subsidiarity companies operating in five countries. We are specialized in manufacturing, in renewable energy, in exhibition, in agriculture and in construction. My background is in civil engineering. I finished my degree in uh, the University of Texas at Austin. Uh, but I have always had the drive and passion to contribute to the economic development in Africa. So, uh, a Labaco group that I started in 2012, our slogan is committed to development. We started as an events company. We started uh, bringing uh, young Africans together to share their ideas. And what started as a small events company has grown today into a dynamic holding group with seven subsidiarities. ATIGS Group is our economic arm. The economic arm focuses on how we can drive foreign direct investment in Africa. So I, uh, everything that I do ties to my economic philosophy, which is the Afri developism. I'm also a, a published author of about uh, eight books. Uh, two of my books are New York Times selling. So I do a lot of, of showcasing the best of Africa. I write about the success story of Africa. I write about what young Africans are doing. I'm a young African born and raised in Cameroon. I just went to the United States just for school and it has changed to a whole, uh, uh, it has changed to a whole journey of contributing back to the, 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 the continent. And I think uh, we need, there are so many people like us that are trying to enhance economic development in Africa. All we need to do is to be able to identify those like-minded people and, and Africa is going to get to where we are trying to go. D'où est venue vraiment l'idée Comment ça a commencé vraiment à générer dans votre esprit, penser et créer cette plateforme-là qui a, qui, a, qui a fait le tour du monde pour pouvoir faire beaucoup plus la promotion de l'Afrique As a young African, ATIGS was born out of a vision the vision to contribute to Africa. And the idea, the specific idea, came from the fact that we need Africans to be at the front line of its success story. So in 2014, I started a economic concept called Afri Developism. Afri Developism is a concept that talks, that says, us Africans, we need to play a major role in helping our various countries to achieve what we want and by uh, focusing on that vision that economic concept afri developism i was able to give birth to atigs because everything around the world centers to how do we bring people together like-minded people to come and and deliberate to come and exchange ideas to come and and discuss their various business opportunities so from Afri Developism, which was an economic concept that I started in 2013, the Afri Developism concept took me to a part where I needed to move from a concept which is a, which is a, uh, uh, which is not an action into action, and that action was ATIGS. Now for us to move into just talking into bringing the like-minded people and the businesses together so we can do business and deals. Alors, Atix sera à la prochaine étape en 2020 à une édition. Ce sera la quelle édition exactement et quel a été son impact sur le développement de l'Afrique One great achievement is we have been able to help so many African businesses to expand into new markets. This was one of the first events that was held in the US organized by a private sector that was able to bring in over delegations from over 70 countries. What we do is we create that access to new markets. We help businesses to uh, gain strategic partnerships. And some of the major success stories that we still continue to see is being able to see how businesses are expanding into new markets from partnership that they get at our event. 
being able to see how some uh, uh, projects gain finance at ATIGS, being able to see how we continue to um, mobilize those that can transform and rebrand Africa. In fact, we are here today in, in Côte d'Ivoire because of ATIGS 2018. We were able to connect with uh, locals that share the, the idea, the mission, and the concept, and see how we can continue to impact various businesses in each country. So the success story is, is tremendous. It's tremendous, and uh, it just gives us that passion and that motivation to keep doing what we are doing, because every now and then we keep receiving updates on some of the benefits for people who attended 2018. Quels sont en retire en termes de statistiques pour Atis à Washington 2018? We had about 2,400 delegates at 2018. Um, these were delegates that came from about 70 countries, uh, including Asia, Middle East, Europe, and Africa. We had about 87 exhibitors and about seven major pavilions. So, just being able to have an African event in the United States that will be able to mobilize people around the world to travel to the U.S. to talk about Africa is already a major success story. So we were able to have about 189 quality investors to come together that are ready, that are looking for bankable projects in Africa to put in the money. But a lot of these investors needed the right platform that they can come and meet with the um, uh, project owners face to face. Um, we also had a lot of government officials that had government projects and they were looking to uh, expose the projects either to strategic partners or to investors. So a lot of success story came from having deals getting finance at the event, having um, uh, businesses gaining partnerships. We had about 114 uh, bankable projects that were submitted at our on, uh, via the online app. We had 17 official delegation groups. These are official groups coming yeah. from countries mandated by the government to lead a delegation to ATIGS in the US. So that alone is a major success story, talking for an event that is organized by private sector and we succeeded in hosting it at the World Trade Center, the Ronald Reagan Building in Washington DC, which is the biggest trade event, trade center in the whole of the United States. So we don't look at ATIGS as an event, it's more of a platform and our success story is a continuous basis. Alors, 2020, Dubai, what is the particularity, what is the innovation and why do you want to have a lot of interest for Africa at this great event that will Dubai? Most events that talk about Africa, they hold the event every year in the same country. So if you go to those events for about three years, you will see the same faces same businesses yeah. and it becomes more of like a talk shop it becomes more of a gathering for people to go and network share business cards a drink uh, a glass of wine so it becomes more of a talk shop but atig is we are moving it to new different continents every two years giving people giving delegates a time frame to digest and conduct deals after attending atig's 2018 then in 2020, it's going to be in Dubai, which is the Middle East. Now we are, have, we are going to have more uh, participation from the Middle East, as well as uh, allowing more African businesses and governments to access more businesses and investors from the Middle East. That alone is a major change. Also, we have doubled the number of investors that we are looking to have at ATIGS Dubai 2020. We have uh, introduced new initiatives that will allow uh, businesses to gain investment, to gain strategic partners, and for businesses to gain more visibility. So what we did from 2018 is conduct a survey that most of the delegates that attended 2018 should let us know what worked well, what was their major success story, what could we have improved, and would they be interested in attending Dubai 2020. So we used the, the, the survey conducted from all the participants of ATIGS 2018 
and we are implementing new models, new initiatives, new strategy to ensure that ATIGS Dubai 2020 will be a massive success story and everybody that will attend will be able to see a great return on investment. For example, today we are in Ivory Coast. We are talking about uh, ATIGS Roadshow in Ivory Coast. In 2018, we did not implement Roadshow initiatives. I, I was in Ghana recently where we had similar ATIGS Roadshow. We have a team of, of, of management that will be traveling uh, across the world for the next three or four months engaging with various businesses locally talking with the government so we can have more africans delegate to be at atigs dubai 2020 we had a major issue in 2018 because at some point there were more investors than bankable projects but we need to change that gap because that's what people are facing in africa people have projects but there's no finance but the most thing is how do you get yourself in the room where the people with the money are going to be so we want we are we are putting in the strategy to ensure that we have more people from africa more uh, uh, project owners to be at atigs dubai 2020 and we are hosting it during the world expo 2020 the world expo 2020 is going to be the second largest event in the world after olympics it's going to bring about 25 million people over a course of six months we are going to have ATIGs in the center of the world, which is going to have over 200 uh, uh, countries in participation. So that already gives African governments and businesses an opportunity to gain uh, more visibility, an opportunity to connect with various businesses in, in, in other African countries. We need to push for more intra-Africa trade. We need to push for more uh, investors around the world to see bankable projects in Africa. So ATIG is Dubai 2020 is going to be more transactional, a platform to to access more people and more quality people, and a platform where every business that will be part of ATIG is Dubai 2020 is going to see a great return on investment. Alors, que direz-vous à toutes ces entreprises, à toutes ces internautes, à toute euh, l'Afrique qui vous regarde? I think government and businesses need to pay attention to initiatives like ATIG. When you do your, your calculation, when you do your, your assignment, ATIG is, is one of the only private owned event platform that has been able to mobilize businesses from around the world. For example, at, in ATIG, we don't focus on country specific. We don't focus on project specific. We focus on Africa not sub-Saharan Africa, on Africa. So governments need to understand that ATIGS is a unique platform that is promoting investment and trade opportunities in Africa. We have a success story. We have achievements. We have something to show. We are willing and open to work with governments and businesses on how ATIGS can help drive more foreign direct investment in their country how we can help businesses to expand into new markets and how we can have more of a PPP, public-private partnerships with, with, the, with the government. And for the business, I think if you are looking for investment capital, if you are looking to grow your business, if you are looking to gain strategic partnerships, if you are looking for more visibility, ATIGS is the right platform to look into. And that is what, that's the message that I have for both the governments and the private sectors. Alors, on retient que ATIS 2020 aura lieu à Dubaï les 28 et 29 octobre. On retient aussi que, en de cet événement, on recevait ici à Abidjan, en tout cas, il était de passage ici à Abidjan, l'initiateur principal, le PDG de ATIS Group, et eh bien en la personne de M. Bako Abianda, qui est lui-même aussi eh bien, originaire du Cameroun, et diplômé de grande école d'université eh, américaine, mais qui avait une fibre en lui. Cette fibre, c'était de, de pouvoir contribuer à la à l'histoire véritable de son continent d'Afrique, d'où est venue l'idée de ce grand événement qui aura lieu à, à Dubaï en 2020. Merci d'avoir accepté notre invitation. En tout cas, grand succès euh, à Atiz, comme c'était le cas en 2018 à, à Washington. Et merci pour tout ce que vous faites aussi pour l'Afrique. Et l'Afrique ne peut qu'être fière de, de vous. Merci encore. Merci. The countdown has begun. Don't miss this.